My name is Daniel Enrique Perez. I am currently serving as Associate Dean for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the College of Liberal Arts. I am also an Associate Professor of Chicanx and Latinx Studies and Spanish in the Department of World Languages and Literatures. My research centers on examining issues of gender, race, ethnicity, and sexuality, especially as they relate to queer brown people. Those of us doing research in the field have used the term joteria and joteria studies to describe this emerging field. My specialty is joteria cultural production, that is, the cultural products like literature, film, art, plays, and other cultural products produced by queer brown people, as well as um, issues like joteria consciousness and related theory. My research has international and global implications. Although I focus on queer brown people in the United States, um, I also am continually making connections with queer brown people and culture in other parts of the world. For example, I study butterflies and their use among women of color and queer people of color in various contexts. Recognizing butterflies as migratory insects with a compendium of unique traits like resilience, beauty, and transformation opens the door for mapping related human traits with those butterflies. I look at how marginalized groups use the butterfly and butterfly imagery as a liberatory device and form of empowerment, socially, culturally, psychologically, emotionally, and more. In Spanish, the term for butterfly is mariposa, and I examine how the construction of what I call a fierce mariposa warrior identity is used by many people to reimagine um, their social locations and social relations and empower them in various ways. Right? For me, these sites function as places and spaces where um, multiple subjects and marginalized subjects can overcome some of the barriers they might face. In my research, I show how several artists and writers employ butterfly iconography as a tool for reimagining their identities in innovative and positive social locations. Their work provides a means for the mariposa subject to develop a mariposa consciousness, which I see as a decolonial site of resistance. Um, for me, th this positionality allows individuals to be empowered in a way that gives them strength as they engage in daily battles and, and oftentimes confronting things like gendered violence, xenophobia, um, heteropatriarchy, neocolonialism, and other societal ills. Uh, so I study various artists and writers um, who use a butterfly iconography in different contexts and what my research shows is that many individuals and groups find strength and inspiration in butterflies. The wings of butterflies in particular are used to highlight beauty, strength, resilience, and protection. But by recognizing the beauty and strength of butterflies and identifying with them, individuals and groups draw out their own inner beauty and strength, which often helps them to overcome very, very difficult environments. This social location has become a site for mapping new possibilities for not just individuals, but entire groups of people. And you will find examples of this fierce mariposa warrior in a variety of contexts uh, in the United States and abroad. And in the same way that butterflies transcend geographical borders, I believe human beings can be empowered in a way that allows them to transcend various other types of barriers and borders that are often placed in front of them.